Hey, what's going on? This is Jordan Wagner at PremierGuitar.com here with Kevin Bolenbach of Godlike Distributing. Hey, Jordan. How, How you doing? doing? How you doing, man? Doing awesome. Great. And he and Paul A. Schultz are going to uh, talk to us today about the new Emma pedals, TWA, and some new Maxon offerings as well. Do you want to start off with the Emmas? Sure. Um, I'm going to turn, since Palais from Emma is here, I'm going to just turn over the uh, mic to him and he's going to give you a brief demo of the three new models, uh, the Stinkbug Overdrive, Reads the Frats It's 2 Distortion, and Piz Watt Metal Distortion. So Palais, take it away. Thank you very much. I'll just start out with the Stinkbug pedal, which is our new, uh, it's a Stu Ray Vaughan, John Mayer sort of pedal thing we'd like to make. I'll play it a bit and you can see what it is. So you can hear it's, it's a light distortion thing that's good for blues and, and, and jazz and stuff, but it's also pretty good for metal actually. We had some producers use it to tighten up high gain tops, high gain uh, amps, so they'll really be tight. It's, it's good for, for pretty much anything. So it's really transparent and it has a lot of dynamics, so you can almost play it clean and you can go really more you put into it, it gets more distorted. So it's a pretty nice pedal. The recent frets is more, this is a diode uh, distortion. This one is more like a real amp. It's, it has a bit of that gritty character of, of a real amp. So the more you put into it, the more distorts like a real amp. And it goes from, from light distortion to really heavy distortion. I can just try it. Turn up the gain and you get pretty. So uh, you have a wide range of possibilities, all from jazz to, to heavy rock. And then we have this one, and this one is made plainly from metal. Okay. It's made in a way so you can do fast riffs and chug away and it'll be really fast, stop really fast. and. Uh, So it's much more metal. It's it's meant for people who play metal. But yeah, the other day in the store, a guy came in, pretty famous guy, started playing blues on it. It sounded awesome. So we're like, what? But <laughs> but it worked. So the versatility is there. Versatility. Well. These very versatile pedals you can use for pretty much anything, and they work nicely together also, and they work nicely together with other pedals. You use them pretty much your feet and amp, and that's okay. a, I think that's the basis for what we do with pedals. Is it's about feeding your amp right and getting the best sound from it. So that's pretty much where we stand for. And this is our new pedals for, for this year and next year. New TWA model uh, for this year is called the Triskelion. It's what we refer to as a harmonic energizer. It's basically a specially tuned filter, uh, which you can control the center frequency and bandwidth with uh, just a massive amount of gain, which can e be bypassed as well. So okay. it has a, a multitude of uses. Basically, you can use it to you know, fine tune your tone to a specific guitar and amp combination or to a specific room to either boost harmonic frequencies or subtract them. You can also just use it to slam the front of your amp to you know, create uh, some preamp tube distortion, or you could just uh, bypass the, uh, the gain completely and just use it as an EQ. Uh, in addition, it has an expression pedal output which controls the center frequency of the, of the filter, so you can use it as a wah-wah pedal, basically, or tune on the fly to find specific frequency bands that you're looking for. Uh, so it's a pretty versatile pedal. That's the range of the filter. This is the intensity. I can bring it back a little. Now the I can boost the center frequency here, shift it up a little higher. It gets a little more insane. And then I can add gain. I, this is with the gain disengaged. And I can try it. I can engage a distortion afterwards, and this is what it sounds like with that. You get pretty insane with the uh, 
of saturation on the harmonic. And I can mellow it out a bit by turning off the gain and the boost here. A throaty kind of bleed sound. So it, it gives it a, the cocked wah sound, parametric filter. It's, it's really good for a throaty lead sound or just to get feedback, as you can hear. Uh, we have two new 9 series models from Maxon. Uh, some of you people may be familiar with these. There's the uh, ST9 Pro Plus Super Tube and the SM9 Pro Plus Super Metal. And uh, people familiar with vintage effects from the 80s will uh, recall the uh, Ibanez Super Tube Screamer, which is kind of a coveted, you know, holy grail type effect. It was really only sold in Japan, but it was basically an 808 circuit with the ability to control the amount of mid-range boost available to it. And uh, Maxon has taken that circuit, which they originally designed, and tweaked it out, brought it into the 21st century. The Super Metal is basically a completely reworked version of the 80s Super Metal pedal that uh, was, uh, again, a pretty popular seller, but kind of on a cult level uh, in the 80s. It's uh, got the 9 and 18 volt operation, which was added to it. It's uh, high gain distortion, but it also has a really uh, great dynamic response. It's not as compressed as your standard high gain overdrive. And uh, it could do pretty much anything from like your late 70s kind of, uh, you know, solo metal tone through the 80s thrash, scoop mid type of tone to the more modern low boost, uh, really punchy, low end type of distortion that you need for drop tunings. Let's go with the super metal for starters. <laughs> Bring the gain down a bit now. You can see it gets a little, uh, it gets more full, a lot more whoopy in the low end when you crank the gain up. Yeah. Still very saturated. Edges like presence, gives it a sizzle. Again, you can switch it to 18 volts to give it a little more headroom, a little more clarity, or you can leave it at 9 for the sag. And both 9 and 18 volts runs perfectly off one battery because there's a charge pump circuitry in it. Now this has low boost circuitry, which is good for single coils, so I'm going to switch from the humbucker to the strap, regular yep. strap pickup. This is kind of like a tube screamer with a uh, mid knob. So I'm going to bring the mids down a bit and the drive down. A bit of a cleaner sound. And I'll also show you what it sounds like running into a gainy amp. This is without the pedal. You can really send the amp over the edge. And I'll go back to clean. There's a lot of players these days that are realizing that a tube screamer type pedal into a gainy amp gives them a really saturated good metal sound. It throws away some of the woofy low end and tightens up the mid range. So there's a, a lot of people who are going to be looking forward to using this pedal for a metal hard rock sound because you can add as much mids as you want or take them away and then you can run it at 9 or 18 volts to give you the clarity in the headroom. So I think a lot of Tube Screamer fans might, might be curious about checking this pedal out. Let's see if I can get another clean sound out of it.
bit of grit you can get, or you can use it to push an already saturated amp. So where can uh, potential customers go to find out more about these new effects? Okay. Um, there's info online at godlike.com, G-O-D-L-Y-K-E.com, or maxonfx.com for the new Maxon models. Uh, right now, there's just basically images and descriptions up, but we should have audio and video up within the next couple of weeks uh, once we get back from the NAMM show. So, Thanks a lot, Kevin. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Jordan. Thank we appreciate you. it, man. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Trevor. Thank you, this is Jordan Wagner, and you're watching PremierGuitar.com.